Well, hey, B. Listen, I came across this video on TikTok, so y'all know I had to find it. Okay, I had to find the full thing because I actually I saw a little clip of it. All right, and this particular uh court case is about a woman that ended up putting like a GPS tracker on her husband or whatever like that, and then now she in in court, and I believe she in court with the mistress or whatever girl so it seemed like it was a little bit of a mess from the little snippet that i found so i said you know what i'm not gonna watch any further i am going to find the full thing and we are going to watch it together and um yeah give our commentary and everything like that all right so make sure y'all are coming on into the video you are indeed liking up this video subscribing to the channel and all of that all right so let's check out this latest um court hearing i feel like i could have done a court hearing like a real court hearing like a long periodical time ago like a few years ago i feel like i did um but either way it don't matter because we're here today so let's just get into it all right now boom let me sure i cut it up shout out to people in court honey shout out to y'all and today is the time and place set for an evidentiary hearing on whether or not the respondent, Ms. Jackson, violated a protective order uh, protecting uh, petitioner, Ms. Cooley. Uh, so at this time, I'm going to invite Ms. McNabb to place your appearance on the record. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Lord McNabb, on behalf of petitioner. Very good. And uh, Ms. Jackson, you're here um, without an attorney. So would you state and spell your full name for the record, please? Uh, and you're muted, Ms. Jackson. Hello. Oh, now I can hear you. Go can ahead you and hear me? Full, your full name. I'm for the sorry. Record, please. First name, Jasmine. Last Ooh, name, Jackson. J-A-S-M-I-N-E. Jackson, J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Very well. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. And the way the hearing will Maybe go today nervous. is uh, Ms. McNabb is here from the prosecutor's office. She'll present a uh, petitioner's I'm sorry, case. It's a, little, it's a little hard hearing. Okay, I'll oh, get a little closer to mind. Maybe I'll uh, maybe make it a little louder. Uh, I can hear Ms. McNabb will present a petitioner's case. Uh, she's uh, here from the Kent County Prosecutor's Office. Uh, she'll do that by calling witnesses. You will have a chance to ask. Can I just say this? I know we a few minutes in, girl. All right. We a few minutes in. Um, I am going to be pausing throughout this, all right, because YouTube will act a little funny if you don't. So if you want to watch it all the way through, make sure you guys go and do your own search and you find it so that you can watch it without interruptions, okay? But real quick, I do want to highlight this. I really do not like when people have to have these Zoom calls with the courts and they be all over the place. Like somebody was in their car trying to get gas and I'm just like, I know they tell y'all the date and time. She in her house walking all over the place. I saw another one where somebody was all in the kitchen and I'm just like, y'all ain't got, I feel like that's a disrespect to the court. And hella disrespectful to me because I'm trying to see what the hell going on. And I can't even get into it because you around here moving all over the motherfucking place. What you sit your ass down. Okay? So hopefully she get in a place and she stay there. Any witnesses, Ms. McNabb calls uh, questions in a cross-examination type um, format, which usually are short kind of yes or no type questions. And then uh, uh, you'll have the chance after Ms. McNabb presents witnesses to present any witnesses or testimony that you'd like to present. Uh, on your own behalf, you will be uh, cross-examined by Ms. McNabb if you testify or if you put a witness on to testify. Uh, all that being said, uh, Ms. McNabb, why don't you lead us off? Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to call Ms. Cooley. Very well, Ms. Cooley, would you raise your right hand? You solemnly swear or affirm that your testimony today will be the truth and nothing but the truth. I do. Very good. You may proceed, Ms. McNabb. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Ma'am, could you please state your name for the record? Why are you talking My name so is goddamn fast? Just listen to this. Uh, and uh, Ms. Jackson, um, you're going to have to mute uh, if you're going to talk at the same time or what? if you want to talk in the background. Otherwise, we'll hear you and it'll interfere with my recording of the hearing. So either you'll have to mute if you want to have Please conversations mute, off girl. the record or uh, not have the conversation. So uh, Fair enough. continue, Ms. McNabb. Fair enough. Uh, thank no, you. Where is uh, Ms. Lee, how do you know Ms. Jackson? Um, I know Ms. Jackson. She's been having an affair with my ex-husband. So Baby, ex -husband. she came. So she's been having an affair with him. Okay. Do you have any? Wait, she came out the gate real quick. I know, Miss. It was the head. This right here. So oh, she giving attitude, baby. Right out the gate. I know, Miss Jackson, because she having an affair with my husband. My husband, yeah, the one I'm finna sit up here and leave. The one I'm about to divorce. Yeah, she having. She having uh, an affair with him, baby. Woo. Any uh, relationship with her outside of that? No, never. Okay. Um, okay. Let me go. Do you back recall when you obtained? Uh, you'll have the chance after Ms. McNabb presents witnesses to present any witnesses or testimony that you'd like to present. Uh, on your own behalf, you will be uh, cross-examined by Ms. McNabb if you testify or if you put a witness on to testify. Uh, all that being said, uh, Ms. McNabb, why don't you lead us off? 
Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to call Ms. Cooley. Very well, Ms. Cooley, would you raise your right hand? You solemnly swear or affirm that your testimony today will be the truth and nothing but the truth. I do. Very good. You may proceed, Ms. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Ma'am, could you please state your name for the record? My name is Monique Cooley. Just listen to this. And uh, Ms. Jackson, um, you're going to have to mute uh, if you're going to talk at the same time or if you want to talk in the background. Otherwise, we'll hear you and it'll interfere with my recording of the hearing. So either you'll have to mute if you want to have so conversations right off the, the record or uh, not have the conversation. So uh, continue, Ms. McNeil. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, Ms. Cooley, how do you know Ms. Jackson? Um, I know Ms. Jackson. She's been having an affair with my ex-husband, soon to be ex-husband. So she's been having an affair with him. Okay. Do you have any... Uh, relationship with her outside of that no never okay. mm -hmm. um do you recall when you obtained a ppo or did you like miss jackson against her? smiling i did and do you recall when i re retained it october like the 4th of october okay if, if i told you the judge signed it on october 5th does that sound right that does okay. and to the best of your knowledge was that ppo served on miss jackson um, she all my over friend the house. tried to serve the PPO to her, and when she tried to serve it to her, I guess she tried to throw the PPO back to her and said she gave sent me a text message out the same day stating that um, the uh, she could receive the PPO and she, if I want to play foul, that she will um, do. I will be receiving my PPO in the mail. That's what she told me. So she was gonna go get one on me. She texted so me and told me that. She, based on your knowledge, Miss Jackson had the PPO and was aware of it. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm glad she was talking to me. I apologize. Girl, I want you to sit your ass down. I really want you to sit down. All right. Uh, where are my notes? She couldn't be in my courtroom with all that shucking and job. They moving. Girl, you better sit your ass down because I'm trying to hear. And I can't hear because I'm over there looking at you. So, therefore, I'm not paying attention. Even though I hear what she's saying, I'm distracted by you. Sit down somewhere. They had this girl coming over there serving you a PPO. And you done threw it back at that girl and said, get this shit. And she want to play like that, play foul. You're going to send her one. Girl, these women be bold. And what led you to um, apply for this PPO against Ms. Jackson? Um, she had been calling me numerous of times. She's been texting my phone. She rides past my house numerous of times. She's threatened me and my family. She told me that she had a gun mm -mm. and would do something to me and my family. So I felt that the need, my life was in danger. And I felt that I needed the reason to go get me a personal protection order. She even told me that she wished that I had life insurance on me and my family. Okay. And so when you were first... No, getting... she didn't say that. In ...these calls, how did you know that they were from Miss <laughs> Jackson? Um, Like I said, my husband, I had a GPS tracker on him. Mm. And I didn't know who address it was at first. This girl, is, I'm going to go back. She assaulted me in Willie Maw. And a situation happened. She fought me in Willie Maw. And she tried to press charges when she was the aggressor. So they never even pursued charges on this case. So I didn't ever know who she was. I never knew who this young girl was. Oh, she's, she's a young girl. Like. You and and so you? I had a GPS tracker on my husband and it led me to that address. And I wanted to know who it was at the time. So I left my phone number inside of the um, inside of her door when I went over there. And she from that time on, anytime, whatever situation they had going on, because I never even knew her. She's calling my phone nonstop, threatening, threatening, threatening him, threatening me. It's just got so out of hand that I had to be aware. I'm sorry, y'all. This lady not making sense. I'm sorry, y'all. Miss Montique Cooley, she not her story. Seems like she missing some pieces. And I know we don't have all day as far as being in the courtroom, but she will have to clear some shit up for me because it's not making sense. So you put a GPS on your man. Your man pulled up to this young lady house. You didn't necessarily, you, um, or wherever she was, you didn't know her. You left a note in her door. The girl out of nowhere just tried, just attacked you at the mall. Out of nowhere, just started finding you at the mall, and you didn't know who she was. I don't know. Some not making sense. Then she talking about the girl just kept calling her phone, calling her house, calling her house, and she didn't know who she was. It, am I? Because I could be tripping, y'all. Because y'all could have been in through an experience similar to her to where this person acted erratic and y'all didn't even know them. But I haven't. So from my perspective, I feel like she leaving out details of the story and it's not making sense. Of course, to play herself to be more of a victim um, in the situation. But something was off. Of my surroundings, when I go places, I run into this girl. She's popping off at the mouth, ready to attack me, do different things. So I fear for my life. I, I fear for my life. Okay, um, I want to talk to you about what happened on December 31st. Do you rem remember that day? Yes, I remember that day clearly. Did y'all okay. catch the yeah, little eye roll she did uh, right here? Uh, I fear for my life. Watch this. So I fear for my life. I, I fear for my life. Okay. The little look she did 
Like the little I roll gay B I T. I ain't fear for nothing. You know what it is. You know what it is. But I know I gotta play this up in front of the judge and her because I need to get what it is that I want out of the courts and I want her to feel, you know, to be punished for her actions. Now, great, and I'm not saying that she shouldn't try and punish her because that was your husband that she over here messing around with. And if that's the man that you want, then girl, have him. Don't be blowing up my mother house for the man that you want. Come get him. Cause he ain't gonna be no better than you than he was to me. Come, come so come get him. All right, but at the same time, girl, y'all both with the shit, Sandy. Um, I want to talk to you about what happened on December 31st. Do you rem remember that day? Yes, I remember that day clearly. Okay, can, can you tell me what happened that day? Um, I was I, I was at home, and I received a text message. To my first, I got three missed calls. I'm like, hello? She like, Nikki, this jazz. I'm like, what do you want calling my phone? Quit calling me. There's no reason to call me. She like, yeah, um... She, she got to talking, just talking so much stuff. I called the police with her on the phone. She was like, I don't give a fuck about no, no PPO. I'll kill you and your husband. Uh -uh. These are, she was on the phone saying this stuff while I merged the police in on the phone call. So then after that, I started receiving text messages. This young lady even sent me a picture of her having sex with my husband. And what, what do those text messages say? I'll read the text message to you right now. I see why you mad now. Go suck his bitch. That bum ass who steal for a living just was at the store stealing yesterday. That's who you love. Y'all both lame as hell. He a booster, stealing everything for them kids. Was just stealing that dicks yesterday. Uh -uh. All them outfits you seen is a real dummy. What I know you don't get at all. That's why you got a son for a husband. Uh -uh. I have done another year nigga doormat for you. Happy New Year. That's my nigga. I just gave him back. I was tired of him being at my house. Girl, these people is crazy. Now she was tired of the man being in her house. So did he leave your house, Nikki, and then went to her house and lived with her? And when she got tired, she threw him back to you? And here's the thing for me, y'all. This is what really be killing me with these situations. These men be getting these women, their wives, their girlfriends, whatever, tied up in situations with these side hoes and don't be nowhere to show for it. I hope before this whole court thing is over, he has to show his face in some capacity to at least be a witness on somebody's side. If you're going to sit up here and cause turmoil and other bullshit in these folks' lives, they create all this whole shit and don't even show up for, for what they need to show up for, girl. This is a mess. I have it right here. And then what, uh, what, on what date did you receive that text? I received that text December 31st. Oh, girl, not right okay. before the new year. Um, it does, does Ms. Jackson have any legitimate reason to contact you? There's no reason you should contact me. I'm not your friend. I'm not nothing. I don't care okay. what he got going and on. Just, okay. And... Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry. Well, I have a chance to voice my opinion. I'm, I can still be patient. I'm just trying to wonder if I have a response or not. Yep, you're going to have a response and a chance to ask any questions that you might have for Ms. Cooley. Okay, thank you. And uh, and Ms. Cooley, um, have you ever contacted Ms. Jackson? Um, Like I said, I left my phone number inside her mailbox. And I mean, in her door. And when she talked to me on the phone, certain situations, because I didn't know that he was even having an affair with this girl. So when she called my phone before, but yeah, I had had a conversation with her before prior. But when it got real serious to knowing that he, he was at home, then that's when the, the, all the text messages and just so like delusional stuff started coming to me. Like this is like, she needs to be in pine rest if you ask Ooh. me. Okay. Um, and then have you contacted her directly or indirectly since this no, PPO has been in place? No, I don't contact. No, don't I contact have no her. contact with that girl. You just put your note okay, in the thank door you, and, and the girl has been the one doing the extra We're reaching good. out. Um, and Ms. Jackson, do you have any questions for Ms. Cooley? Um, I don't necessarily want to communicate with her. I would like to just voice my opinion when possible. Her voice no, my no I'll give you a chance to make a statement on the record when it's your turn to present your side of the case, but I got to get through Miss McNabb's case first. Uh, Miss McNabb, do you have any additional witnesses or evidence at this time? I do not, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Now uh, we'll move to you, Miss Jackson. Uh, I'm going to first swear you in, Miss Jackson. If you'd raise your right hand, oh, do you <laughs> swear or affirm that your testimony today will be the truth and nothing but the truth. 
absolutely nothing but the truth. Very good. And uh, Ms. Jackson, um, go ahead and make your statement at this time, if you'd like. Ms. Jackson, sit your ass. Okay, Your Honor. First, I would just like to say it is very intimidating, very scary that this woman <laughs> will manipulate the courts the way that she is, especially when I have so much evidence proving my case. I have never threatened this woman as far as, you know, with a gun or her family or anything, you know what I mean? There's nothing that her family has done to me that would make me feel that I would have to get revenge or anything on her. Honestly, this situation is just a manipulation. You know, I did send you a letter with a lot of evidence, excuse me, I'm not sure if you received it yet. I'm ready to show the evidence. Um, originally, you're not ready to show I the was, evidence. Honey. I placed the PPO order on her. Adrian Cooley, this was back in um, June, I'm sorry, May 15th, 2023. Monique came to my home on Sunday, May 14th, 2023. I have evidence pictures to verify she was there. She caused a huge disturbance. Me and Mr. Cooley were asleep at my home. She came to my home distressed in, in boxers. In, Wait, 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 anything on her. Let me go back. 15th, 2023, uh -huh. Monique came to my home on Sunday, May 14th, 2023. I have evidence pictures to verify she was there. She caused a huge disturbance. Me and Mr. Cooley were asleep at my home. Mm -hmm. She came to my home distressed in, in boxers, in, in men boxers, in house shoes, and a t-shirt with no bra. I have evidence, again, to prove what I'm, my story. Um, she came to my home. She banged on my door. What, for, what date are you saying that occurred on, uh, Ms. Jackson? This, about? A, this occurred on May 14, 2023. There was a police report that was made as well for the disturbance. She came to my home. She was very aggressive. My neighbor next door had to step in to pretty much, you know, stop everything from escalating. The police were called because she entered my home. And the okay, let me just say this, y'all. Well, let me let me let her finish. Hold on. Police reported said that she entered my home, but she exited before, you know, the police arrived. Your Honor, I have this woman really trying to terrorize my life because Mr. Cooley, she cannot control the actions of Mr. Cooley. He's a grown man. I understand there had been an affair going on, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean. I'm not the only one who's under overstepped boundaries, and I've always been single. I've never been married. So this has not been my issue. The only reason why this woman is continuing to try to pursue charges against me is because she is very upset about the situation. I Listen, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I hate to be honest with y'all. This girl's story, as much as I do not condone her actions of messing with this lady's husband, her story sounds more accurate because how you come to the courts and you just sit up here and make it seem like, oh, I just left a note in her door. She's been trying to fight me. She's been calling my phone, harassing me. She's just like, that would be, yeah, a person would need some mental help for real, for real, if they just doing this out the blue. But I immediately start to think, what did you do for her to even, like, I just feel like something had to have happened. For her to be wanting to fight you at the mall. For her to be blowing your phone up and all of that. Then this girl is telling the judge she has witnesses. You about saw this. You put a track on this man's car for a reason. Because you didn't trust him. I refuse to believe that you put a track on his car. Followed him all the way to where he was. Put a message in her door or a note in her door. And then caused a scene. Come on now. You definitely caused a scene, whether the scene was meant for her or the scene was meant for his ass. You put a track on that car for a reason to catch him in his BS. And I do believe to be able to pull up because you didn't know where he was going, who this person was and all of that. I think you had a normal reaction that a lot of wives would have after catching their husband stepping out on them. And I'm not saying you shouldn't show your ass, okay? Because I don't know what you and that man been through. I don't know what kind of how many kids y'all got or what y'all relationship is like. But what I am saying is that she left out some of the details and trying to paint herself out, in my opinion, as the victim in all of this, as if she did not contribute to it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm not saying this young lady, Miss Jackson, is right, but I'm also saying Miss Cooley is not innocent herself. I have just had another police report that was filed on Sunday. I can give you the number. It's too early for me to give you the report, but I can give you the case number. This woman came to my home and while she has a PPO on me, and she pretty much called the police to my home because she thought Mr. Cooley was here. 
there were three police officers that came to my home. I had it came outside to talk to them. They explained the situation. I have a live recording of the police officer telling me she told Ooh, me. Now she got a live recording. It does not look good for you to be on her premises when you have a PPO on her. Also, mm -hmm. Your Honor, I just placed another police report for last Friday. Monique Cooley, her daughter, she has two daughters. I don't know their last name. In the, I have all type of verification. I've been, you know, this is an open investigation. She drove these two young ladies over to my home to steal my surveillance camera on uh -huh. Friday because she felt like I would not be able to prove my evidence. I have a witness who, you know, they saw her, they heard her voice. She did not get out of the car. But my neighbor, because she is familiar with Miss Cooley after everything. <laughs> look at look at that. Look at she told me that Wait, look at the white lady in the corner, y'all. Look at <laughs> Look at the white lady in the corner. Her eyes. Well she put her hand over her mouth. Her eyes went like, mm, 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 bitch. Like, she looked like you done did it. Now, girl, I have to rewind it just a tad bit. And here go Miss Cooley. Like, trying to be scrunched face like she don't know what the fuck that girl talking about. Miss Cooley, you know you with them shits, girl. Look at, look at, <laughs> look at the white lady. Look at McNabb up there in the corner with her, <laughs> her head down as I watch my feet take turns hitting the ground. Like she literally, look at this lady. She's like, mm, mm. <laughs> she know if she's covered enough cases, she knows Miss Cooley got up here on some cap ass shit. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. Miss Cooley out here capping, but do what you got to do to try and get this lady in trouble because that man is out there cheating lean. Ooh, girl, this is a mess. I have a witness. Who look at, look at her. She looking down. She covered her, her face. Her look at the white lady. did not get out of the car, but my neighbor, because she is familiar with Miss Cooley <laughs> after everything that's occurred at my she residence, she told me that Miss Cooley drove these two. Young ladies over, they said he actually stole my surveillance camera. I have a Ooh. open investigation going on. So what this woman is trying to do here is she is trying to assassinate mm. my character because she does not like me based upon the situation, which I understand. I have never threatened her. I have never come to her home. She cannot provide any surveillance footage of me being at her home. I'm going to show you footage of her being at my home on mm. multiple occasions. And it's to the point, I'm afraid for my life. My son See, cannot is... play outside because this woman comes to my home. On a... See, me coolly, me coolly wasn't expecting that girl to be that smart and to be taking, you know what I'm saying, running a, a record on your, is holding on to them notes and sh on your squirrel. Now, I do feel like the judge is going to be like on some, he might grant both of them a restraining order to stay away from each other or whatever the case is. I ain't no telling. You know, but I believe the judge knows that both of these ladies are equal problems here for each other. Um, now, I do know Miss Jackson probably hasn't shown up at that lady house, but it doesn't mean that you ain't been harassing that lady. But Miss Cooley, you trying to literally sit up there and act like you, you don't. I don't know why. I don't know who. She just called my phone. I just go off. I don't know. I didn't know me knew nothing to her. I don't, me don't know her like that. Girl, stop. A regular basis and for her to pretty much come to my home while she has a ppo on me it's just to the point where i feel like i can't do anything you know i feel defeated here your honor it is just not fair to me the circumstances i'm a college student i'm also pursuing a small business i have a child that i'm trying to take care of i do not disturb this woman i am not a violent person and she laughing not girl that's not a good look Miss if i can show you my proof that this woman has been harassing me and that she is the harasser oh. I, ha I can get to that right now. Well, we're not going to, because that would go more towards either uh, taking away the PPO or second, uh, that would support a PPO. We right. have footage of her at my house Ooh, right here. She showed it anyway, baby. I'm hollering. Also, oh, uh, Your Honor, I would object to any surveillance footage as I have not been provided it and have not had a chance to review it. This is another... Yeah. Another yeah, footage of her. You know, Ms. <laughs> Jackson, at this time, uh, what, uh, because, the you know, the issue is the question of whether or not you violated the one that's in favor of her. I'll hear your testimony that she is provoking this by um, showing up or 
uh, trying to intimidate you on the other side, but I don't need to see the uh, surveillance. I understand. Just testifying all way. It. I understand, Your Honors. I was never served a PPO. The woman that she claimed served me a PPO wrote on the court papers that she served me a PPO by Coach Lane. But my surveillance camera shows this woman at my house when I was not there. So I just feel like if she actually did come to my house, why would you lie? Because Miss Cooley drove her to my home. I caught them when I was leaving, when I was on my way home. I seen her parked on my premises. So she went out of her way to try to drive this woman to my home to serve me a PPO when that's a violation itself. You know, this woman is clearly playing games and it's just, it's just very unfortunate. Okay. All right. I think I have an understanding of where you're coming from. Uh, Ms. McNabb, do you have any questions uh, for Ms. Jackson? Uh, yes. Um, Ms. Ms. Jackson, um, did you send Ms. Cooley any text messages on uh, December 31st? Your Honor, I I'm sorry. No, I did not. I'm not sure what type of game she's playing, how she got these text messages or so. I have a phone number that I can't verify the, the, the text message that was sent, but anytime I text her, ma'am, it was just at the time when me and Mr. Cooley were going through our differences. And since she was harassing me so much, I was reaching out, telling her like, hey, can you please get your husband? He's back over here. I don't want you to be coming to my home. So I was contacting her, but I guess she was already in the process of being done with him. So everything that I was doing was agitating her. I've never caught her phone harassing her. I don't own a gun. I've never, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know why she would lie in court like this. This is really insane to me. Okay. So the text message that Ms. Cooley um, uh, read out loud, you're saying that you, you didn't send that. that? That is absolutely false, ma'am. I've never talked like that before. Verify her, her number. But Verify I have never her number. Text her those words, and I don't know how she can prove that that's me. But I can. Uh, she can prove it by going to the phone company. But with this situation, I doubt it's that deep for them to go down that road. But I mean, child, they was gonna give you a call real quick, and it interrupts this Zoom call that you want right now, Gradine. You probably did send no messages because I know that husband. Did he do it from your phone? I can assure you right hand to God that I have not texted her those things. Oh, and have you have you texted her or called her at all since the PPO was in place? I was not aware when the PPO was in place because again it was never served. I'm with, but I'm with them. When I did speak to her at whenever time she did cool. inform me like you know you're not supposed to be calling me. I have a PPO and I'm like okay you know I'll, I'll, I'll leave her alone. I just wanted to let you know that he has been back over here and I don't want you to come to disturbing me so I, I'm letting you know, just as communicating, you know, I've been harassed. Her. So this is very, this is very disappointing to be going through this situation. Okay, I have no further questions, Your Honor. Okay, and uh, I, I do not have any uh, follow-up questions either. Uh, so thank you. Uh, unless Miss Jackson, there's additional testimony you'd like to give at this time. I do know she do. Oh, okay. I'm surprised. Then you may step down from the witness stand. Um, any um, additional witnesses or evidence you'd like to present, Ms. Jackson? Um, and I did not receive your letter yet or the attached uh, evidence, so I haven't reviewed that um, in connection with the, today's hearing. It sounds like most of that goes towards it might support a protective order on your behalf. Um, it was again, denied. I, I actually tried it. For some reason, they denied it, and I'm going to try again. Well, and sometimes with a protective order, I can tell you uh, it's as straightforward as Michigan law does not allow what we call reciprocal protective orders and that I can't say, well, one on you and one on her, oh, okay. um, <clears throat> that, uh, you know, you have to have a separate basis for it. But if you send in the evidence, then I'll consider that uh, like I consider all of the submissions. Well, that fair well. uh, we'll do, we'll do, because I have to be safe as well, sir. All right. Uh, then I think we're to the time for uh, a closing statement. A closing statement, Ms. McNabb. Um, actually, Your Honor, would I be permitted to call Ms. Cooley as a rebuttal witness? Just briefly? Uh, you may. Uh, okay. Ms. Cooley, you do remain under oath. You may take the stand again. Yes. Okay. Um, Ms. Cooley, you've heard Ms. Jackson's testimony, correct? Yes. Okay. And she alleges that you were at her home on Sunday. Were, were you near her? I was never near her home. There's Sunday. a police report with it in it. I'm, Ma I'm talking, ma'am. I'm let, talking, let her her go. There's a police report, so before you lie, just be honest. I'm, I'm talking, ma'am. 
Okay. Yep. You'll get a so, chance to ask her questions again. Did um, you okay. recently go anywhere near her home? <clears throat> so I told you Monday, I went over to her home. Oh, wait a minute, over. girl. This is me. See, this is, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Okay. Okay. This report with it in it. I'm talking, ma'am. I'm talking, ma'am. Let, let her go. But if you send in the evidence, uh -huh. then I'll consider that uh, like I consider all <coughs> of the submissions. Well, farewell. Uh, we'll do. We'll do. Because I have to be safe as well, sir. All right. Uh, then I think we're to the time for uh, a closing statement. A closing statement, Ms. McNabb. Um, actually, Your Honor, would I be permitted to call Ms. Cooley as a rebuttal witness? Just briefly? Uh, you may. Uh, okay. Ms. Cooley, you do remain under oath. You may take the stand again. Yes. Okay. Um, Ms. Cooley, you've heard Ms. Jackson's testimony, correct? I have to pause this. Where the person puts on the screen um, that apparently the prosecutor believes in Ms. Cooley to some extent. I wish I knew what she knew. Uh, well, the reason the prosecutor does that is because that's their job to prosecute. So they're going to, more, more times than not, they're going to believe in this woman. You know, they're going to believe in that person that's on their side versus the opposing person uh, because her goal is to prosecute the other person. Um, so yeah, they gonna always tailor it to make it seem like even if their client is full of shit or the person they're representing is full of shit, that's not their job to really go against them is to go against the other person and prosecute them. So of course she gone. Miss Cooley full of shit though. We all know that. Hopefully the judge sees through this and see Miss Cooley full of shit. Yes. Okay. And she alleges that you were at her home on Sunday. Were, were you near her? I was never near her home. There's Sunday. a police report with it. I, 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 this is I'm where you messed up. This is where you messed up, Miss Jasmine. Miss uh, Jacks, the girl. This is where you messed up. And I understand, you know. But when you um, interject and you don't let the other person get their word out, it would come off to the judge and whoever else that you are trying to prevent the other person from, you know, saying something or whatever the case is. Like, basically, you're going to be the one looking at fault. So you really come out better just being quiet. Let her get everything out. Make a note of the sh that she's talking about so that you can address all of the points because it doesn't look good when you're interjecting and trying to cut her off and all of that. Like, that's not necessarily a good look, and that's not really how you get things to go in your favor. I'm, I'm let, let her go. There's a police report, so before you lie, just be honest. I'm I'm talking, ma'am. Okay. Yep. You'll get a so, chance to ask her questions. Maybe you just say recently objection. go anywhere maybe near that. her home. So I told you Monday, I went mm -hmm. over to her home, went over to Wingate Apartments. Never did I go to her home. I called the authorities on my ex-husband. And that's when the police, I called Why? the police and went towards that way with the police. It was my why though against my husband. She has nothing to do with nothing. But why? It was my premises. I my wonder premises. why he was here. nobody was premises. ever near your premises. Okay, okay. Uh, ladies, yeah, Miss Jackson, premises. I'll give you a chance to ask questions. I'm sorry, after. sir. She's just lying, and it's not fair. She We're definitely is lying. Girl is delusional. Hang delusional. on, we can only have one person talk great. at a time. Okay, uh, sir. You're right. You're right. Yep, I'll have. But you was over there on her premises, though. Give you a chance to ask questions after Miss McNabb's finished with her questions. Okay. Go ahead, Ms. McNabb. And Ms. Cooley, why did you call the police? I called the police because my ex-husband took some expensive belongings from my home. I was taking my niece to Wingate Apartments to apply for an application. And when I got towards that way... It's the lies for me. This B-I-T-C-H done sat up here and said she done took her niece over there to apply for a job where this fucking girl stays. Okay. If I am the judge and I'm listening to this, I am automatically going to think, well, that's weird. Out of all places that you could get this girl to apply, you want her to apply at the same apartment complex that your husband's mistress lives in and your husband live in? Yeah, what this girl, Miss Jackson, said definitely sounds like you are bitter and are upset about how things are happening. And really, I don't even want to say you bitter because that's your husband. You should be upset that he's stepping outside of your marriage and messing around with somebody else. I definitely get that. But, girl, you over here acting erratic and crazy i took her over there to apply for a job at wingate that's what i did why that is weird out of all the places she can apply at 
And then what I also like is that Miss Jackson got you shook up, Miss Cooley, because when we start first started this court hearing, you sitting over here acting like you the innocent Betty. And now the Miss Cooley is showing up. The Miss Cooley that Miss Jackson sat up there and said was blowing up, was not blowing up her phone. I'm sorry, but coming over to her house and doing this and doing that. She's showing up now. OK, but let's keep going, honey, because I'm sorry. I don't believe Miss Cooley 100 percent. I seized his car there, so I called the police while I was at Wingate Apartments, and the police came towards that direction. They knocked because on my door. I gave, I'm not talking to you. Oh, look at it! Look at it! Look at it! They knocked okay. on my door, Your Honor. So you were not there to have any. You were not there with no, anything I having to do with Miss Jackson. To, no, I never went to her premises, ma'am. This girl okay. is making you up sure? a whole delusional she story. She the one that got the camera footage. The police footage. report will verify this is pretty scary. You want to lie like this? Boom! Girl, Thank you. Know, I'm going to give you a chance. You said, Ms. "Girl, Jackson. shut the what up." This is crazy. You know, it's crazy, Your Honor. Jackson, you know? I'm going to need to mute you. Miss Jackson, uh, you're going to have to be quiet, baby. Cutting into the testimony because it. You're going to uh, have this to gets recorded and it becomes part of the record in case either side wants to appeal my decision at the end. Uh, so I only can have one person talk at a time. Fair enough. I apologize. Okay. Uh, you may continue, Ms. McNabb. And Ms. Cooley, um, how, how do you know that Ms. Jackson's the one who sent you those text messages? She called me from the number 50 times. Okay. She called which... me from the number and not only that, she texted me the stuff. I had her on the phone with the police. I merged her in with the police talking on the phone. Okay. And and you recognized her voice? I know her voice, yes. Okay. She's called many... me a million times. She's delusional. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. I have no further questions. Okay. And Ms. Jackson, do you have any questions that you would like to ask Ms. Cooley at this time? Your Honor, I just want to say Ms. Cooley did not actually come to my door, but she was in my parking lot. I have a parking lot, and the police did not allow me to pretty much even leave my <laughs> home. She was on my premises. She's lying. And I have a video of the officer who she, you know, spoke with, and the officer just pretty much confirmed. She said, I did inform Ms. Cooley that it doesn't look good for her to be at your house on your premises when she has a PPO on her. You no are on her premises. I can very verify You that. may not have came to her door. Okay. But she also Any said she got footage. Y'all both Jackson. is full of it now. I told you. All right. But you damn Any sure further, ain't Ms. innocent, Miss Cooley. No, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Then thank you, Miss Cooley. You may step down from the witness stand. Um, okay. uh, Any rebuttal or additional witnesses at this time, Miss Jackson? Miss Jackson, any additional witnesses? Um, I don't have any present as as now, I didn't know if I would need them right now, but I do have relatives. I have family who was very familiar with this situation. So, you know, if that's a future thing, I will have them. But as of now, no. Okay. All right. Well, then I think we're to the time for the closing statement, uh, Ms. McNamp. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Um, Ms. Cooley has testified that she received several calls from Ms. Jackson on December 31st. Um, she has testified that she recognized her voice on the other end because she had heard her voice over the phone many times. And she has testified that she received that threatening text message from the same number that called her. She was um, just at my house March oh. 8th. Oh, so you lied. Miss, you lied. You, you lied, Miss Cooley. I mean, Miss Jackson. Me, that doesn't show my face. Hang on, like it shows it, yours. Miss McNabb uh, is, is speaking now. Let's let Miss McNabb. So you came over there to bring that lady husband clothes over there? Because you went to that lady house. And then we'll be finished. So y'all both sitting on the stand lying. Miss Cooley has also testified this has been ongoing and continuous harassment. Um, I believe the court should find her her testimony as credible um, and find that Miss Jackson has at the very least violated the PPO once, if not more than once. Um, Mrs. Cooley has explained why she was in the vicinity of Ms. Jackson's home uh, on Monday that had nothing to do with Ms. Jackson, um, that she was doing something for her niece, and there was a dispute between her and her husband. Um, so the court should not take that into consideration. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, uh, Ms. Jackson. Should not take what into consideration? Is the camera footage? Harassment. Um, I believe the court should find her her testimony as credible um, and find that Ms. Jackson has at the very least violated the PPO once, if not more than once. Um, Mrs. Cooley has explained why she was in the vicinity of Ms. Jackson's home uh, on Monday that had nothing to do with Ms. Jackson, um, that she was doing something for her niece and there was a dispute between her and her husband. Girl, cut that shit the fuck out. And th this is the, this is where, 
the uh this woman here the prosecutor like i can't take you right now now i know your job is to defend miss cooley haney but you know you over here capping why the hell else would she be over there on this girl premises time i had nothing to do with her but more so with her husband and she was doing something for her niece which one was it was you doing something for your niece or you was doing something for your husband you took your your niece over there to apply for a job at the same place you over there calling the the police on when it comes to your husband like some shit don't make sense but i mean it's it's capping um so the court should not take that into consideration the thank you should not take that into consideration you. you got all right uh, miss jackson uh you're muted miss jackson you'll have to unmute or i'll have to unmute you there we go okay your honor i just last would like to say you know it is not a thing on her ex-husband or soon to be ex-husband if the police come to my home and actually knock on my door there were three police officers she sent so, to my home because she's seen his vehicle at my house if you ask me I believe that is a form of harassment if you're driving past and you have a ppo on me and i have been violated by contacting you and you talk just about he took some expensive stuff from your house and you're parked on the corner of my house speaking with the police about the situation it's harassment it's manipulation and i just feel like how can i possibly live my life in peace with this woman antagonizing me on a you regular you should have thought basis, about that before Honor. you start fucking I with that lady here. I have no problem minding my business. <laughs> I don't I, give a damn I'm about your peace. <laughs> I don't have enemies. This woman has done so much to me. But like I said, I am a fool. I don't have time to just sit here and document every little thing until it came down to this right here. I have the police report verifying that she was not at Wingate that she was on my premises. If I'll be able to provide that, you'll be able to see that I'm not making the situation up. There, there was just, this was just a manipulation, you know, because she was upset about him you being in my home. But they really All just right. want to well, know I whether you violated the, uh, that PPO, though. The testimony And today, it looked like you did. Uh, there haven't been any um, documents that were um, introduced into evidence on this matter. And the question is, is can I determine beyond a reasonable doubt that um, text messages uh, sent on December 31st of last year, that is 2023, uh, were from uh, respondent Miss Jackson, and second, uh, that uh, they uh, those messages violate the the personal protective um, order at this time, and. Uh, uh, Miss Miss Jackson has denied that those were from her. However, um, the testimony from Miss Cooley has been, while I recognized her voice um, on the on the phone, uh, and thus I knew it was her uh, calling me. Um, In addition, there were an allegation that there were some um, text messages uh, here uh, uh, following the uh, uh, the calls, uh, including uh, uh, so one that uh, Miss uh, Cooley has testified to. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, was in sexual nature involving her soon to be ex husband. Uh, Mr. Cooley, I will note that Mr. Cooley is at the midst of this dispute, and of course, is not here today uh, testifying in either uh, things. You know, it, it, it strikes me that uh, sometimes uh, in these cases, a uh, man is the root of the trouble, and uh, the man. Okay, somehow, of course. Uh, misses out. Come on, come on, Your Honor. Come on, Your Honor, because he is definitely with a whole nother BIT because he ain't there with you, hope. Y'all be uh, too busy fighting that y'all don't know it's a whole nother one somewhere. Calls. Uh, including uh, 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 so one that uh, Miss uh, Cooley has testified to, uh, you know, uh, uh, was in sexual nature involving her soon-to-be ex-husband, uh, Mr. Cooley. I will note that Mr. Cooley is at the midst of this dispute, and of course is mm -hmm. not here today yep. uh, testifying in either uh, things. Neither you know, one it, of y'all. It strikes me that uh, sometimes uh, in these cases, a uh, man is the root of the trouble, and uh, the man somehow... Uh, misses out on these proceedings, even though uh, he may be as much at fault uh, regarding both parties as uh, talk about it, your honor. Else involved um, in the case, but that that being as it is, uh, I still do have a protective order in place that protects um, uh, Miss Jackson and, or I'm sorry, Miss Cooley. And I will find at this time that there has been evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that those texts and or calls 
on that date, uh, December 31st, uh, prove that uh, Miss uh, Jackson did violate the protective order. Now, I'm not going to impose any uh, jail time uh, or fines as part of the sentencing. What I'm going to do, Miss Jackson, is I'll send you a letter um, oh, so no jail uh, time indicating or fines. that you need to go down to the Kent County Sheriff's Department and get fingerprinted uh, because I have found that you violated the order. And I will tell you, if you violate it again, and that would be by either uh, being, you know, any of the violations, you can't be at her property, you can't text her, you can't call her, you can't go from an unknown number. But I mean, if you're sending a, a picture that's sexual in nature, that you would be the only one that might have the uh, possession of uh, logically. Uh, she's going to uh, determine and probably be able to convince me that that was from you uh, and be able to bring you into court here again. And next time, I certainly, uh, having had so you nice. this time, uh, might consider uh, putting you in jail, though I'm not going to do that um, this time. On the flip side, I will caution that no matter how irritated um, Ms. Cooley is with her ex and, uh, you know, maybe stealing stuff and uh, sounds like he certainly is adept at, uh, uh, you know, kind of playing uh, the two women involved in this matter off against each other. Uh, that nonetheless, um, you you know, the uh, protective order when it's in place is intended to be a shield. That is, it protects you, but it's not a sword. It doesn't give you a, a blank check to do whatever you want um, with regard to Miss Jackson. And so, uh, you know, I would agree with, uh, you know, what was alleged to be a police officer's uh, statement today that, uh, uh, you know, that you shouldn't probably uh, be over on her um, property. You know, if you need to call the police and you think that's where your ex might be and might be located, well, mm -hmm. Come uh, on. You certainly, uh, usually. You don't need to be in her stuff either because you put a fucking PPO in uh, place. And calling the police. Uh, it, now, what I'm saying, you put a PPO in place to keep this girl away from you, but you going over there to her premises. Make it make fucking sense. Is usually the a good basis for a protective order, and that's because over there the police lying. officers do arrive. Um, it's not direct contact between the other person and the respondent or whatever. It is, uh, you know, the police officers exercise their own discretion when they get to a scene and investigate. So, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, it, it may be that the police get called because there are legal proceedings. There's a divorce case apparently, and others ongoing between. Um, Miss Cooley and her soon to be ex husband. And, uh, you know, he seems to be kind of drifting maybe between two different locations, maybe more, uh, where he is staying, okay, maybe uh, more, and certainly be seems to be playing a role in this. And, uh, acknowledging that, uh, you know, and I, there's no way that a protective order, uh, orders the two of you to be friends or to have a good communicating relationship with each other. I don't expect that to happen. However, I do expect both of you to kind of. You know, I, I say it's um, like the referee in a boxing ring where he, you know, says to the the two uh, boxers, you know, each of you go into your own corner, uh, neutral corner and stay there. Uh, don't uh, recommence uh, the fight until, well, <laughs> don't recommence the fight. How about that? Uh, but definitely not while the protective order is in place, because while it's in place, uh, at least with regard to you, Miss Jackson, you are correct in your assessment that it isn't fair. You're the reset. You know, you're the respondent. Uh, you've got everything to lose, uh, whereas you you'd sure have to do. convince me, um, you know, on the flip side that uh, Miss Cooley was more to blame than you were. Uh, if an incident did happen, your safest course of action uh, to protect your studies and um, your life that you're building uh, entirely separate, it appears to be uh, from Miss Cooley, is just, uh, you know, stay uh, uh, out of sight and out of contact. Uh, with her and even if you get angry uh, at Mr. Cooley I don't know if he's still involved but uh, do not use uh, Miss Cooley as a way to to reach him uh, you got to figure out a way to uh, get to him directly same thing with Miss Cooley still an issue I don't need to contact each other you, uh, uh, and uh, you know I don't have to decide that today but don't use her as the go-between because of the uh, existence of this protective order so uh, I'll send you a letter it'll give you a couple Saturday mornings when you can go down to that sheriff's department, I say to people when they do that, uh, take a look. You know, you're only going down there for a visit. You're not going to jail. There's nothing, uh, you know, criminal about it. This is a civil case. You're just giving your fingerprints. However, um, if I do find you in violation in order to go to jail after a hearing, uh, that's where you'll wind up be and criminal. it'll be uh, for several nights. 
uh, you know, as uh, punishment for violating the court's order. Uh, I'm not doing that at this time. Uh, most people uh, take the warning the first time and say, you know what, I don't want to spend any more time than I have to uh, here at the Kent County Jail or with the Kent County Sheriff's Department and uh, don't don't have any problems. But the order does remain in place and I will uh, uh, caution both parties to continue to uh, observe uh, the order. And as I said, it is a, uh, a shield and not a sword. So uh, that is the conclusion of today's hearing. Uh, I will thank both parties for appearing uh, by video today, arguing your case and also participating in this. Uh, I haven't seen, as I said, your evidence, but I will review it if it comes in, Ms. Jackson. And if you've applied for a protective order, I do consider each one of those as they come in individually. If you can support one, uh, you may be able to uh, qualify as well. But in any case, what, what the uh, court process indicates to me is that you're both willing to go through this legal process, even though it's slow and uh, not always very satisfying as a way to, uh, uh, you know, defend your, uh, you protect your rights and protect yourself uh, rather than taking it in person or via, you know, each other's families uh, to each other, things like that. That's exactly what protective orders are designed to do is to get people into court and not, uh, you know, coming to blows with each other in the street. So uh, you're both respecting mm -hmm. that process and I'm grateful for that. Uh, I will send out the follow-up orders, and with that, we're concluded. Thank you, Your Honor. She's the uh, muted. Thank you. She was muted, but anywho, y'all, that's what it was. Um, I still think Miss Cooley full of shit. Do I think Miss Cooley deserved to be cheated on and stuff like that? I would say no. You know what I'm saying? I also don't think that she should have been all over there at Miss Jackson's house lying, okay? I do think her reaction was natural. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but more so, your issue is with your husband or whatnot. Talking about you went over there because he took some some important stuff from you. I don't believe that Miss Cooley is talking about, okay? But at the end of the day, they both need to stay away from each other. And Miss Jackson, you really going to have to pay attention to what the judge is telling you because Miss Cooley can put you in a position to get you tied to fuck up for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? I know you had your evidence and stuff. You had way more than what the hell Miss Cooley had, right? But still, she could put you in a position to get tied the hell up. Because if she do something, you seem like a person that's going to be easily triggered. And next thing you know, you're going to be on her phone. You know what I'm saying? Something's going to end up happening to where you're going to violate that PPO. And then you're going to end up being in jail. Okay? So you got to be careful, girl. I will block her. I will get rid of her NIGGA. Because at the end of the day, in all honesty, um, it is unfortunate that she's been cheated on. But he ain't going to change his stripes. So if it ain't you, it's going to be somebody else. Um, and she's going to be right back in this situation all over again. So she really do come out better cutting her ties with him, too. She says that he's her soon-to-be ex-husband. We'll see how true that is. Is he soon-to-be ex because you don't want him no more, for real, for real? Or because he don't want you and he's not coming home? Um, I really hate that. Very unfortunate situation. But hopefully, you know, that girl will learn her a little something because you are young, Miss Jackson. Don't let these men be out here manipulating you, okay? Because you're right, it was a game of manipulation, and that man was all up in your head, and he was all up in your bed. You know what I'm saying? So um, don't let that man try and play on your top no more, knowing that he over here married. Don't let him be over there lying, trying to make it seem like he and his wife separated or whatever they got going on. Be smarter than that, okay? Either way, honey, good luck! That's all that I got. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts about this um particular court hearing, this case here. I'm Jamie me that's me don't forget to like comment subscribe share my videos follow me on instagram and on twitter at jamie that's me and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye, -bye.